And as promised, we have uh, we have a really special guest today with training camp on the horizon. Uh, I thought it'd be a good idea to try and get an actual Bengals player to talk to. And obviously, as regular listeners uh, know that we've had quite a few Bengals players. But this time, we're talking to running back Travion Williams. Travion, how you doing, man? How you doing, man? Thanks for having me. Thank you for coming on. Now, um, just looking at your stats for the Aggies, ta- Texas A&M, your college career, you absolutely tore it up. Um, <laughs> so there was lots of excitement when you were drafted by the Bengals. Um, it's been semi frustrating for you, but what what would you what do you what would you say you've learned in the past couple of years since being an actual NFL player? Oh man, dude, I. I can't speak the numbers of, to the, the amount of knowledge that I've gained. Um, it's crazy, you know, coming in, coming from Texas and then coming from the situation that I was in um, and then coming to the NFL. It's, it's a humbling experience. So you definitely learn a lot as time goes on. Um, you learn a lot about yourself. So um, kind of throughout this whole process, being in the NFL, man, I learned a lot about myself, learned a lot about, you know, who I am as a person. And um, that really transcended into the direction that I'm going within myself. So I'm excited for the future, and um, I'm ready to see what uh, see what the future holds for this year. So what, what? Let's talk specifics. What have you learned about yourself? Is it resilience? Is it mental strength? As I say, because you came into the NFL with all these kind of rushing records from uh, from Texas, and then suddenly you really had to wait your turn, didn't you? You were behind. Joe and Gio and then uh, uh, Samaje and um, mm. I, I guess it was I guess it was frustrating. I'm not trying to put words in your mouth, but have you what have you learned about yourself specifically? Oh yeah, definitely. I, I wouldn't say it's frustrating, but it was just a humbling experience. Um, it was definitely, of course, it's not how you wanted it to go, but of course, um, like I said, this is a very important year coming up, and I'm excited for it. But um, I learned a lot about myself, just mental toughness. Um, just endurance uh, within the mind, physically, mentally, and just resiliency. Just um, basically when things aren't always going your way, just, um, you know, stack, stacking bricks by bricks and uh, waking up every day with a goal in mind. And I always think back to, you know, remember why I started. I, I just always think back to when I was a kid, I always wishing to be, you know, in this moment being where I am today. So just, you know, when I'm here today, I don't want to take that for granted. So like I said, just keep working every day. Just keep coming to work every day, showing that I am who I am and my value holds its own. So just uh, like I said, just hold my value and showing what I can do, but just learn a lot about myself and what I want to do for the future. So like I said, I'm excited for the future. I'm excited for this year, man. And I'm ready to see how this goes. And you've always been absolutely brilliant with the fans. And I think the fans are really itching to see you on the field more because when you have been on the field, especially that Baltimore game last year, you absolutely tore it up. And it was just like, this guy's got real talent. We should be seeing more of him. With Gio gone, uh, are you hoping that you'll get more of an opportunity to, to show your talents this year? Oh, yeah. First off, man. But like you said, first off, man, with the fans, man, is the fans make the game. You know, the game would not be what it is without the fans. So that's probably the number one thing that I'm most excited about this year, man, having having the fans be able to be back in the stands, um, having, you know, who they nation, having everybody back in the stands, man, and be back in Paul Brown. So I'm excited for that, man. But, um, yeah, like I said, with the departure of Gio, man, that's, a, you know, that's just an opportunity, another opportunity for somebody to step up. And I definitely feel like I'm that guy that I'm ready to go and I'm ready to do what I got to do, work my butt off this offseason, work the hardest I've ever worked. So um, just ready for that, you know, new role and ready to see where the future goes. You look like you've been working out, man. You look like, you know. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I worked my butt off this year, man. Completely changed my body. Completely got my body ready. Um, changed my whole physique and everything that I needed to do to be a pro and be a pro for a long time. So I'm ready for it. Ready to see what the future holds. Like you said, man, I'm, I'm ready to compete, man. That's it. When you say, we've heard players that say that they changed their physique, right? Now, as you can see, me and Nathan are Olympic standard athletes. <laughs> Looking um, good over there. <laughs> we don't. I'm 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 drinking a beer, and you've got uh-huh. like loads of protein shakes behind you in your kitchen. Uh-huh. Um, how 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 would you how would you recommend me and Nathan changing their? How do you go about changing your physique? We've heard it so often, but what do you actually? What does that actually entail? Oh man, dude, it started with um uh, nutrition. It's crazy. Um, people don't realize, man, you can lift 
all the weights in the world. You can run all the sprints. You can do all the sweating. But if you don't have the proper nutrition, your body will not excel in the right direction. Um, it came down to nutrition. It completely changed my nutrition. Got the right nutrition. It's got everything that I needed, you know, for my body. Because, I mean, if you think about it, I mean, your body is an investment. I am I am my own business. So I had to invest back into my business. And one of those decisions that I had to make was investing into the right nutritional standpoint that I needed, man. And doing the right protein, like dim isodiamatized, that's that's a, um that's a protein I've been using um when working with that company. So definitely um that was the right protein for me, it was definitely what my body needed, what my muscles needed, and uh, it allowed me, you know, allowed me to transcend in the right direction and allowed me to maximize my potential in every in every way. So so there's hope for me and Nathan yet, you say? You have to ship us some of that protein. It's always hope. <laughs> you just got to find it. There's always hope, man. <laughs> oh, that's good to hear. That's exactly what I, what I wanted to hear, man. Uh -huh. um, we, we hear about training camp. We get excited about it because it's a, a, an opportunity for fans like us to see players in pads again, yeah. full contact, all the rest of it. Um, what's it like for a player? What are you? Do you get excited about training camp? Do you have specific things in your mind uh, going into camp that you want to achieve and what you want to improve on? It just take us through the the mind of a, a player as you as you as you approach training camp. Man, you gotta love training camp. Um, training camp is uh, obviously the optimal level of competition. The one word for training camp is probably compete. You know, when you, you talk about training camp, that's the first competition that you get in before you get into the season. So, you know, you're competing with yourself, competing within your team, and you learn so much about the guys that you're playing next to for that year. So, I um, mean, you know, it's an important time where you gain respect for the guys in the locker room, you gain respect for the coaching staff, and just everybody to get a feel for what the new team is going to be for that year. And um, it was kind of hard last year because last year we weren't able to have the regular training camp. Um, so it's a new training camp, but it's not a new training camp, but back to the old ways where, you know, get to get gritty fans, get to be there preseason games and just really get to display what you can do. So, um, it's an opportunity to really showcase what you can do and, um, you got to use it, use every opportunity to your maximum and, and show what you can do. Tragon, tell us a bit about the running back room. Obviously, Joe Mixon, the main man in that room. But like about yourself, Samar Jay, obviously Chris Evans coming in as a rookie out of Michigan. What's the unit like? Is it a tight-knit bunch? You know, what are you expecting from it this year? I mean, it's an exciting running back group, man. Um, obviously, an outstanding running back group. A lot of different guys, a lot of different tangibles that everybody have. Uh, everybody have a different skill set. But, um, yeah, it's a tight-knit group. We all, I always say that, man, in the running back room. We always, uh, we always stay close. We always have been a close group, and I feel like we always will be. It's a res respect standpoint, and, uh, you know, we all giggle and laugh and do all the things, man. You know, we got a new running back coach, um, Justin Hill. Yeah. Came closer, but, um, yeah, he came in, and he's gained everybody respect. I know I he definitely has my respect. He's an outstanding guy. Um, he loves the work. That's his number one priority is work, and then, you know, you have fun later. But um, definitely everybody's tight-knit group, man. Everybody's competing. Everybody's want to, you know, work out and do what we can do from our standpoint, our running back room to help this team win. So I'm excited for that, excited for this room, ready to see how that goes. Talking about helping the team win, outside of that running back room, are there any positions on this team that you think are a real point of strength going into 2021? I mean, obviously people are talking about the wide receiver room looks strong with Jamal Chase coming in. Obviously they've revamped the defensive line as well with a few new guys coming in. But are there any positions that you've noticed that you think are going to be a point of strength going into this year? Oh, offensive line, man. Um, at, any, at any level of football, you know, in the trenches, offensive line, defensive line, that completely chose a game, completely controls the whole element of the game. And I definitely feel like, you know, our offensive line is, is definitely transcending in the right direction. It's okay. fly with, with flying colors. And then, you know, with the uh, return of um, Coach Pollock and, um, you yeah. know, we um, did a lot in off season with, with um, trades and, and, the, um, and the draft. So I'm extremely excited about the offensive line group, man. Those guys have been working at Butts off. I've seen it, the team seen it, the coaching staff sees it. And I just can't wait for um, the nation, the, the fans base, and everybody to see, you know, how they've been working. But, um, yeah, definitely offensive line, defensive line, they've been doing their, doing their job. And I'm excited about the wide receiver room as well. So, Tell, tell us a bit more about Coach Pollock, because I know it was a very exciting move to bring him back, and a lot of the, the players seem very excited and happy about that move. Tell us a bit about him as a coach. Uh-huh. Oh, it's crazy, because I didn't, I didn't know much about him, um, because when I came in as a rookie, he had just departed. Uh, yeah. So when I came in as a rookie, um, 
Jim Turner came in with me as well. And he was my offensive line coach at Texas A&M. So yep. that's all I knew. But, uh, you know, from talking with, with Joe Mixon and Joe speaks so highly of him. And um, yep. I, I can definitely see why from the time he stepped on, uh, stepped it back in the building, man. He's a guy that he demands, he demands, uh, you know, close attention to detail. And at the end of the day, man, in the NFL, man, details are what wins this game. So um, he's a guy that, that knows what it takes to win. He's a guy that's shown and um, he's the guy that has the tangibles to really put the offensive line in the right position. So I'm excited to be a running back and to be able to run behind that. And I'm excited to see um, how this really completely changed from last year. So excited to see how the future goes, man. I, I can't tell you guys enough how excited I am for this year. Um, That's what we like to hear. Absolutely. Oh, um, just going back to Coach Pollack again, I think Bengals fans are really excited to have him back. Um, and also he's been named running game coordinator as well. So have you had much sort of dealing with him in OTAs? And mini well, obviously you had a very, very short mini camp there, but um, certainly in OTAs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. He's a he's a hands on guy, extremely hands on, especially when it comes down to run game coordinating. Just the simple things from the simple nuances of um, different play calls and different schemes. It's, it's, it's something you can do for every scheme that you get. So um, he's a guy that breaks it down completely to the T and um and he's a guy that really breaks it down so everybody in each standpoint can know because the offensive line has to know the same things that the receivers have to know that the running backs have to know that the quarterbacks have to know and if we are moving cohesively in one unit it, it, it's it'll be scary so um yeah like I said he's a guy that that definitely did the right things and showed everybody the details that needs to be done and um like I said I'm excited man can't say it enough and just to round this off, Travion, thank you so much for the time. Um, oh, man, no we, um, we genuinely can't wait to see you back on that field much more this season. Um, mm -hmm. When you're going into camp, you're talking like, to me, just listen to you talk, you're talking like a veteran. You know what it takes to be an NFL player now. You know what you have to do to stay on that roster. You yeah. know what you have to do to kind of thrive within the system and the scheme. Yeah, for sure. What what are you what are you looking at specifically um, to kind of improve on? What's your mindset going into training camp now? Man, it's crazy. Um, it's crazy to believe that this is year three for me, man. It's, it's crazy how the years fly by. Um, but I definitely feel like you know God did everything for a reason. He didn't want to throw me into the fire too early because I've I'm a completely different guy from rookie year to year three man I've learned so much and it's just the little things you know coming from just preparation and the way that you prepare yourself and just taking care of your body and doing the little things making sure that you're ready for every element of the game because it's a long season man it's going to be an extremely long season and that's what you don't realize realize about the NFL man it's an extremely long season so you got to be able to be ready physically and mentally and um like I said right now I feel like I'm in the best shape of my life physically and mentally especially mentally and it's definitely physically as well. But um, definitely, man, i just just been improving on the little things that I need, man, to really showcase what I can do. You know, being a third down back, being a guy that can just be a playmaker, a um, guy that can be a playmaker and just stay on the field, um, a guy that can run between the tackles and also special teams. You know, I'm a guy that I always play special teams. Um, that, that's just something that, that I like to do, something that I've shown value in. And also, you know, being a running back as well. So I'm excited for that and just excited to maximize my potential and, and just show value to, you know, earn a roster spot and, and just be that guy on this team. So um, you turn up to uh, Paul Brown next week, training camp, and mm -hmm. you see two guys from the UK looking a bit nervous. They've just made the roster. <laughs> You know, we might make special teams. We might make being uh, water boys. You know, on the side of the, on the field there. Um, uh, what what kind of advice are you giving rookies? Talented, very talented rookies like me and Nathan. Um, uh, very talented. <laughs> what what would what advice would you give uh, to me and Nathan? Extremely talented guys like you. I, I don't think you guys need any advice because. <laughs> 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 nah, man, but um, I'll definitely just tell guys, man, just compete. Um, just come to work every day, and, and you got to be able to compartmentalize. You got to be able to um, be able to keep outside, you know, whatever's outside the building, you got to keep that outside of the building. Just know when you come to work every day, you got to be able to tune in because um, this is your job. 
this is not what you do for fun. Obviously it's fun, yeah, but this is your job. This is what you have to do. This is the obligation that you have to make. So it's gonna take sacrifices. Um, you're not gonna be able to do all the things that you wanna do, but you have to do what you have to do to be successful. And you gotta put the team first always, man. So you gotta be able to be the best that you can be, do your part. And when all guys on the field do their part, everybody can win. So that's that's my advice to Ricky. I think we're I think we're in a shout, Nathan. I think we're all we're... He's, he's pumped, you've pumped me up for the season, Travion, massively. It's like, uh -huh. like a pep talk you're giving. Uh huh. Y'all got it, man. Y'all got it. I, you you look at that captain. I better just take out a video on report day. <laughs> oh man, you could be like some sort of. Mo you should do TED talks or something like that when yeah. you finish, man. Oh uh, man, I love, I love it, man. I love uh, it. Listen, Travion, thank you so much for the time. And really, I mean. We're going to be rooting for you because, A, you're a really nice guy and we can't thank you enough for spending some time with us. No but problem. also, we've seen your talent, man. So we wish you the best of luck and we want to see you on that field more this year and hopefully you can tear things up. Oh, yeah, for sure. Just know when I get my opportunity, man, special things going to happen. So 